Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. The app Lenza AI is going viral this week. This app takes your selfies and makes avatars of you in different styles. How fun is that? But why be satisfied with putting yourself in a drawing or a painting? Why not become someone different? Today I'll show you how to make profile pics in Midjourney. You can become anything you want to be. And the best part is that you can get 100 avatars absolutely free. Lenza AI is an app that makes avatars in different styles, but not just any generic avatars. They are based on your face. Give the app 10 to 20 photos of yourself and Lenza uses stable diffusion to train a model that looks like you. Once the AI knows what you look like, it can create your face in different styles. Stable Diffusion AI is open source, and if you're a coder and have the right computer set up, you can do something similar with Dreambooth. But you can also make personalized avatars with Midjourney. If you're new to Midjourney, Midjourney is a text to image generator similar to Stable Diffusion. Give Midjourney a description of the avatar you want to create, and it will create an image based on its interpretation of your description. Midjourney version 4 has a new trick. It's terrific at combining images and text. This means you can create personal avatars and profile pics in different styles, and they look just like you. There are a few differences between Midjourney and Lenza. Let's go through them. For a start, you don't need a dozen photos to train Midjourney's AI model. One selfie will do it, though you can add more if you want. I often use three pics. Midjourney's output tends to be more real and less stylized than Stable Diffusion. It's picking up on the style of the photos. And Midjourney has better controls than Stable Diffusion when it comes to nudity and sexualized images. There have been some reports of Lenza creating porn. This is very unlikely to happen in Midjourney. File size isn't necessarily a deal breaker when making avatars, which tend to be small files. But Midjourney creates more detailed, higher quality avatars than many other apps, which can produce pixelated or low resolution images. Lenza's images are 1024 pixel square. Midjourney images can be upscaled to 2048 pixel square. It's nice that Lenza hands you 100 photos in different styles. In Midjourney, you need to prompt for each style. But on the flip side, you're not limited by the styles chosen by Lenza. If you want to be a punk rocker or Renaissance royalty, that's up to you. The prompt recipe I'm going to show you is super simple, and you can change it depending on your mood and style. And finally, there's no getting around it, Lenza AI app is expensive. I don't mind paying for the 100 avatars, but you also have to pay a yearly membership fee, and that's really not going to happen. With Midjourney's trial, you can create 100 avatars absolutely free. And even if you pay for a Midjourney subscription, Midjourney isn't limited to making avatars, you can create so much more. If you haven't created on Midjourney before, go to the Midjourney homepage and click Join the Beta. Sign up and accept the invite. Midjourney works on the app Discord. You can open Discord in a browser and create from there. If you need more help getting started, see my video, Starting Your Midjourney. I'll put a link in the description below. Let's take a look at how to use Midjourney to create avatars in different styles. I'll give you a basic prompt structure and a lot of ideas to try. The first thing you need are some selfies. In Midjourney, you need just a few. And that's great because I'm a photographer and I'm usually behind the camera instead of in front of it but there are some tricks to choosing the right images. For both Lenza and Midjourney, pick photos that show a close-up of your face without your hands. Hands are gonna complicate things. The AI might get confused and give you morphed body parts, and that's never very pretty. Cut out any other people and busy backgrounds from your image. The AI needs to be able to see you clearly, but these cutouts don't have to be that precise. Edit your photos in your phone or use an easy online photo editor like Pixlr. Make sure the images that you upload are a good representation of you. The AI takes a lot of cues from the images, especially if you're using a simple prompt. The AI might pick up on features, blemishes, costumes, lighting, you know, that sort of thing. Once you choose your images, you're gonna need URLs for these images. I generally use three images, but in Midjourney you can make an avatar with just one, and you can put more images into Midjourney if you want. You just may not need them. The easiest way to get URLs is to drag the images into Discord. Click enter or return, then right click on the image and copy the link. Do this for each image you want to use to create your avatar. Now let's work on your prompt. Type slash imagine in the message bar, then specify if you want a male or female avatar. All the avatar creation apps ask for your gender. This is actually more important for the guys. More female images are created in the AI image generators, so it's primed to make female characters. Sometimes the AI makes men more feminine, but feel free to choose whatever gender you want. Enter the links for your selfie images. 
They'll start out as long strings, but Mid Journey will shorten the links. Now enter a description for your avatar. I played a lot with the combinations, but it seemed like keeping it simple was the best recipe in Mid Journey. A few descriptive words and a strong character seem to be the best. Ask for an astronaut or a rock star. You could be a superhero or a film noir detective. I'll put some suggestions in the description below. Finally, type dash dash v space 4 to use Mid Journey version 4 and click the purple generate arrow. Mid Journey version 4 is the best at combining images and prompts, but it's not yet the default version in Mid Journey. You have to specifically ask for it. Mid Journey returns four images. Not all of them are going to be good likenesses of you, but a good percentage will be similar to the photos in the prompt. The AI often changes the hairstyle and what the character is wearing, and sometimes the facial expression. If you're not getting the results you like, rerun the prompt by clicking the reroll button. Now you have eight images to choose from. Upscale the ones you like best by selecting the U1, U2, U3, or U4 buttons. You might also ask for some additional detail in the prompt. If you need some ideas, ask an AI chatbot like ChatGPT. Ask it to write a prompt for DALI. ChatGPT has limited knowledge of new apps like Midjourney, but DALI and Chatbot come from the same creators, so it knows what DALI is. You don't have to use the entire answer. Cut it down to the most descriptive elements. Finally, here are a couple of limitations and tips for creating a great avatar. If you prompt for a specific person or character, Midjourney will try to merge your images with the features of this character. This might work if you look a little like the character, but results will be variable if you don't. But try a few rerolls. You might be surprised. Midjourney doesn't like to cover your face, but you might get a mask or other face coverings if you specifically ask for them. If the image comes out too painterly, add photograph to your prompt. If you want your avatar to be more stylized, add video game icon to the prompt. One last trick for getting more image generations. Follow your prompt with dash dash chaos space 50. Chaos tells Midjourney how diverse you want the output. Using a high chaos number like 50 tells Midjourney that you want very diverse outputs. This gives you a lot more variety. When you find an avatar you like, upscale it using the U buttons below the grid. You can make your avatar larger and more detailed by using the beta upscaler. You can then download your image and use it as your avatar on social media, forums, or anywhere else you want to represent yourself online. With the advent of AI text-to-image generators, you no longer have to be satisfied with generic avatars or profile pics from selfies on your phone. Midjourney is a powerful and versatile tool for creating avatars in a wide range of styles and can provide a more flexible and customizable experience than other avatar-making apps on the market. Make your next avatar with the magic of Midjourney. Give it a try and see for yourself. Let us know tips and tricks you discover when making avatars in Midjourney. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.